Welcome back to Our World with Black Enterprise. Congressman John Lewis spent his entire life fighting for civil rights. But what does he think about today's fight for civil justice? Chief Content Officer Derek Dingell explains. He's been called the conscience of Congress. John Lewis is the first recipient of the Earl G. Graves Senior Vanguard Award presented at the inaugural Black Men Excel Summit. When we see something that is not right, not fair, not just, we have a moral obligation to speak up and to speak out. Earl and the family of Black Enterprise, thank you for speaking up. As an icon of the civil rights movement, dating as far back as the 1963 March on Washington, we do not want our freedom gradually, but we want to be free now. A historic meeting with President John F. Kennedy and the infamous Bloody Sunday March in 1965 from Selma to Montgomery, he's always been a game changer in the struggle for justice and equality. I had a chance to talk to Congressman Lewis about why it's important for young people to get involved. I grew up in rural Alabama very, very poor. Uh, my father was a sharecropper, a tenant farmer. And when we would visit the little town of Troy, visit Montgomery, visit Tuskegee, I saw those signs that said, white men, colored men, white women, colored women, white waiting, colored waiting. The words and leadership of Dr. King inspired me to find a way to get in the way, to get in what I call good trouble, necessary trouble. So I've been getting in trouble ever since. But I tell you, in spite of all of the progress that we've made, the scars and stains of racism are still deeply embedded in American society. The forces are rising up, you know, neo-Nazis, you know, white nationalists, you know, KKK. What can be done to uh, beat back that type of activity? Well, I think when we see something like what happened in Virginia, see white nationalists uh, want to put down people of color, or go back and salute like Hitler. We have to do something. We must educate all of our young people. And it doesn't matter whether they are black or white, Latino, Asian American, or Native American. And I think it will be the young, the young people will get us there. They will lead us through the 21st century. We're also seeing this real activism, that's this groundswell of activism that's growing. Do you see that groundswell translating into politics and us seeing a new generation of leaders? I do see this happening. And I think we're going to see more young people, especially more young women, organizing, mobilizing, running for office at the local level, the state level, and the federal level. What will it take to galvanize people to, you know, to, to vote? We got to convince people that the vote is precious, that it's almost sacred, that it is the most powerful, nonviolent instrument or tool we have in a democratic society, and we got to use it. If we don't use it, we're going to lose it. Being with Black Enterprise, I think it's important to find out from your perspective, what can black business do to drive this equation? Well, one thing a, a large number of minority business people did when the movie Selma came out, they raised money to make tickets available for young people, for students. And young people learn from that. And by supporting an organization like the NACP Legal Defense Fund or the NACP, uh, it is so important. It is a must. There's a role for the African-American business community to play. After the break, why staying in shape helps you excel at work.